guys welcome back to the channel continuing on with the Aoshima Skyline race car right there um, I was gonna paint it red which color red well it's gonna be bright red by MCW but I don't think the bright red will be as bright because it's a darker primer I think it's gonna look nice I'm gonna paint the whole entire car red um, if I do decide to two-tone it, it will um, be better to paint the black over the red anyway. But I haven't decided that yet. I may just go straight up red and be done with it. But um, I had a few little places once I got the primer on it uh, around the windshield. There were some bad spots I had to go in there and clean out. But other than that, I'd already got all these um, parting lines taken care of. It looks great. Uh, looks really good excited to get some paint on it um, to see it red um, uh, quality kit definitely a quality kit uh, not one that you don't have to do anything to it definitely takes some work still but very nice also I'm going to be painting the interior uh, the aluminum let's see I've got I've got AK I think this is the aluminum. I'm going to spray it over that black. But I uh, just give it that aluminum look on the inside because this this car's interior would be um, an aluminum. The majority of it is an aluminum color. So that's what my goal is to do that. And the center of the wheels are gold. So maybe I can come up with something to get in the center probably just paintbrush it to get the gold inside there that would look really nice it would set it off so I'm gonna get whew, I'm gonna get busy um, mixing some paint and So this video segment, at least this one, is like over a week since this thing's been painted. Uh, we painted it. I painted it. We went to Maine for a week. And now I'm back. And I kind of lost track of where I was at on my video taken. I had to go back and look. So I just painted the body. So since then, or today actually... I, uh, today's Labor Day. I've sanded a few places on the body that had some uh, uh, trash in it. I'm going to get the decals on this body. I'm not going to two-tone it. I already decided. I, just, I caved. I'm going to get the decals on it. I did um, go with the uh, do gold on the centers of the wheels, which I think turned out really nice. It was just a Tamiya gold paint that I had. I just hand painted it. I sprayed the interior tub um, with AK, oh boy, polished aluminum or something like that. Oh, do you hear that thunder outside? It's about the storm. But anyway, so the interior, the plastic, you know, is black. So I just sprayed it, lightly sprayed it with the, with that. And it turned out really nice. I think I'm going to do detail painting inside it, but as far as the metal interior, it looks great. Um, so the chassis just got like this honestly this is like real simplistic I mean it's a curbside it's not gonna be like the bottom who cares really but um 
got the steering in there. It's posable steering where you can, like, you know, change the front and the, the metal axle, which is weird how the rear axle is. It's almost like it was made for a gear and a battery or something. I don't know. I don't think it was, but it kind of looks like that. I was playing around with the uh, black marker on the front window um, or just to see what the trim would look like with the Sharpie. But my, my goal is, although um, this MCW gate gives me a great high gloss finish and I can shoot another coat on it, I'm going to, I just, I'm going to lay the decals and I'm going to clear it because I want the decals to be clear uh, in the clear. I uh, did do the door handles and the, there's a couple of little uh, places like, um, attachment screws for the deck lids and stuff so i uh got those painted as well silver those will be under the clear so and then all these little parts that have just been laying here waiting on somebody to paint them um, those have to be painted the roll cage simple kit very very simplistic it's not anything uh there's nothing overly um detailed it's nice i think it's going to look great Oh, also, forgot to mention this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I had gotten some seat belts from Mark over at Hobby Nut. They were the Gopher Racing, um, but they're just basic seat belts. And uh, Mark didn't have any of the racing harnesses at the time, so I reached out to uh, Charlie over at ProTech. And uh, Charlie sent me some... Um, set of racing harnesses so let me try to get this i already opened it but anyway you know what i'm saying protect pink label everybody knows protect um so charlie sent me over these racing harness photo etch racing harness so I, the seat if you'll notice has places in it well let me lay it down so i can get it to focus so see those divots in the seat it's got places where seat belts you know, should be, but, uh, anyway, at the darn, this is my phone and I can't even get it to focus, but anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, so I wanted to do seat belts. never done seat belts before, believe it or not, I've never done seat belts. So, like I say, Charlie sent me these over and these are cool, um, now I can't get it to unfocus, what the heck. So I'm going to have five point racing harnesses. So the way this works, you get the harnesses, which are teeny weeny, and then you get this material in here, which you can paint. You cut this material to um, fit, to make your seat belts out of. So that's cool. So thank you, Charlie over at ProTech. Go check out his products. You can get them through Mark at Hobby Nut, as a matter of fact. Um, but if Mark doesn't have everything Charlie has, which he doesn't have everything, you can go over to, uh, there's other dealers of ProTech products and stuff like that. Or you can go to ProTech website, and I'll link uh, Charlie's website in the, the description as well. You can go over there and order your parts. But I don't do a lot of customizing. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, I just like, I'm pretty much out of the box kind of guy. But since I've done a couple of Pro Street builds and stuff like that, Charlie reached out to me before we, he and I talked Charlie pro tech and, uh, I'd kind of almost declined the offer of using this stuff because I didn't do a lot of customizing, but I'm like, okay, I know this isn't a big step, but I need some seat belts. And, and, uh, so he hooked me up with those. So anyway, I'm going, uh, to try to expand my limits, I guess you would say. And I'm starting with seat belts, which sounds really ridiculous. Um, I've never done them, so here we go. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Going to let me get these decals on here. Um, uh, yeah, this is I'm not a decal guy at all, zero. But we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to get some hot water, and uh, we'll see what we can see. Stand by. All right, so let's get a couple of these on before my phone runs out of memory. Um. So yeah, I'm not an expert at decals at all. Zero. As a matter of fact, I'm really intimidated by them. But I've got the box, got the instructions, and got the body. So, 
guess we might as well just put some on on the roof it doesn't even show the roof well how in the heck am i supposed to know what goes up there i guess it's just one of these 11s so there's three of these 11s well it looks like one goes on the roof okay cool i've got some hot water um straight out of my water heater 120 degrees. well it was 120 degrees so don't know if it still is but it's probably pretty close i've noticed that most people use a much shallower dish than i do i've got like this big bucket but anyway all right so i'm gonna put it in there for a couple of seconds and it looks like that the 11 would be to where the if this was an oval track just by looking at the uh, picture here looks like the 11 would be like the bottom would be on the driver's side on this case because it's right hand drive sure oh yeah mark fit I saw Lucas C putting on decals the other day, so I'm just going to act like him and act like I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to put some on here. This roof has been sanded with 3,000 grit. Wet, I wet sanded it 3,000 grit because um, it had an imperfection in it. The wing still has a little bit, but I think it was going to be covered by the um, the decal. Hopefully, at least. All right, is this loose? No. I don't know how old this kit is. So, looking at the decals, they look really good. But I don't know how old it is. I mean, it may be like from 1987 because I've got a Gunsy kit that I thought was almost new and it was from 1987. So, this could be quite old. Um, and it's in Japanese, so I can't find out what, I don't see what year it is. Um, could be 1985, could be 1986 or seven because the car, I think is an 80, I don't know what the heck it is, to be honest with you. Here we go. Alrighty. Our first decal disaster goes oh, right in the middle here. My, you know, my thing with decals is I feel like I've got to be in such a super hurry. And I think that's where I go wrong. Give me a toothpick so I can kind of move this thing around a little bit but I, I feel like that I have to be in such a hurry and I think that's where why I don't like decals because I don't like feeling like I'm in a hurry I don't like being rushed I don't like anything about like just for instance while I'm doing this I'll just talk a minute um, we went to Maine recently I hate plans I hate planning a vacation because I don't like plans and plans ruin my spontane spontane spontaneous um, personality. So I'm spontaneous, and if I plan something, then it ruins my spontan spontaneousness. I don't know how you'd say that word. So I saw Lucas he took a t-shirt and daubed his. I don't have a t-shirt handy. So I'm just going to try and get the wrinkles this sucker really wrinkled up probably from all that mark fit that i put down there we go so we keep it straight i'm gonna have to find something to dab it with that looks pretty much pretty much centered i can't wait to clear over some decals i don't know if i've ever done that but man i've seen some guys and I'm not trying to, like, say, compete with any of these guys that make these road race cars. And they put, like, 12 coats of clear. And you can't even tell where the decal starts or stops as far as the edges. That looks pretty close. I huh. can't tell. Anyway. All right, that's good. Next uh, is, looks like we've got some... That 11, boy, there's going to be one of those 11s that goes right here. Holy cow. Does it even fit right there? Let me cut it out and see. I don't see how it would even fit. We shall see in just a second. I might be like, nah, we don't need 11s right there. Doesn't need a number. We don't need a number right there. Oops. Oh, yeah. That was a uh right in my leg dang that felt good Woo! It stuck right in my leg okay so 
So 11 will go right there. Holy cow. Well, I might as well try it. What do you say? Let's do it. Countdown. So yeah, there's not, doesn't seem to be enough room to even put the 11, but what's interesting is on the instructions, the 11 seems to be much smaller because the little vent that's behind, right in front of the tire, doesn't even conflict with the 11, and those are the only 11s in there, so apparently that is it. Okay, we'll see. Well, that one turned out pretty good. I think it may be a little off. Oh well. I might as well do the hard one on camera and then get off and do the easy ones. What I've no what I see here is it's got to conform to these. So the body's got like uh, see that? Oh yeah. How in the heck is that decal going to sink down in there? Oh, I forgot. I already forgot. Got to get some mark fit on there. I've got the um, the two little blue bottle, a blue and red bottle, whatever that stuff's called. I also have that for decal setting solution. I don't even know was it better if it's not better or anything like that. I ain't got a dang clue. Not a clue. Uh, decal solve or something like that. But I, my. Lucas sees my friend, so he was using this, so I'll just use this. So if it's a bomb, it's his fault. Um, but we'll see. I did do decals on my Thunderbolt, and they turned out pretty good, and they were old decals. Um, yeah, these definitely aren't going to fit like it shows on the... Oh, yeah, this is going to be a nightmare. This is going to be a disaster. I can already tell you, this is a disaster. Where did my toothpick go? This is not going to do right. Too many curves, too many contours, and not enough skill. Let me go ahead and douse it with this stuff. This I think this stuff is supposed to soften the decal. But it better soften it all right. It better make it like goo to fit down in that. Yeah. I guess I can take it. Well, you know what? It almost looks like it's trying to sit down in there. But then there's these, re these. yeah, it's going to crease. I'm probably going to end up not having the 11 on the door. Because I'm not going to put a lot of work in something and then ruin it with um, my, my inappropriate decal skill set. I mean, I am glad I'm going to clear over it, but I don't think clear is going to suffice the big wrinkles. And it looks like I'll have to cut some off. Do you, you can tell that there's some that hangs over. And I guess you can cut after it dries. I don't know. I don't do decals. So if you don't do decals, it's like you don't know. I need to... I've got to step out of my comfort zone more often and do something that's a little uncomfortable. Because that's how you grow. That's how you get better. Each model kit that I build, I always think, okay, so what's this going to look like sitting on the table at Acme? That's, that's like the way I always think about it. Which is kind of crazy, but I try unintentionally put pressure on myself um, because I want each and every build to be better. This ain't looking good. I'm thinking that 11s might not make the. They may not make the. Uh, they may be on the cutting room floor as the uh, filmmakers cut scenes from the movies. That may be where this 11 ends up being.
But anyway, yeah, I, I like to push myself. I like to always think every build. I don't ever go into a build thinking, oh, this is just going to be quick. It's, it's going to be uh, just a, a video build. Um, I know people do video builds all the time. I don't necessarily discourage doing like builds just for video content, but I, me personally, it's always in the back of my mind. It's like, I want to do better on this one. I want to do better on this one. On every one I want to do better. And, uh, this ain't looking good. So I don't know if that's going to work. I'm going to do something. Let's see. I think I need to put a little slit. It's starting to uh, really wrinkle on me. Slit right there. I don't know if I actually made a slit or not. Can't tell. I'm envious at guys that do decals. Envious. As can be. I'll see these guys doing like these GT40s and those things are loaded with decals or these Japanese, you know, race cars, absolutely just covered with decals, and they look phenomenal. And I'm like, man, I, I'm scared to death. I don't even like to put the any kind of little small decals because I'm just intimidated. But anyway, all right. Well, hey guys, I'm gonna work on this and uh, see how I can, what I can do with it, and do the. I know you guys don't want to sit and watch me just put on every decal, so. Um, they are some cool decals. This one is for the windshield. I will have to do that one obviously last after the cars uh, completed, but there's some nice gold ones, all these nice white ones, but I'm going to get to work on them and then I'll be right back and, uh, we'll see what it looks like. So stand by. Hey, so I, I got a few of the, uh, decals on. I did not, I did have to scratch the one on the side, but I noticed on the box, which you can't see. There's an 11 that went on the hood. They didn't send enough 11s, I don't guess. But anyway, I got one on the hood, one on the uh, roof. Got the Tomica decals, the four valve turbo, the one on the hood, under the hood. About to put the one on the rear spoiler. Actually, it kind of becomes fun putting these things on. Um, because it really adds so much character to the car um, rather than just being a plain old red car okay so this like goes on the yeah it, so it like adds character in it that, you know that that makes that makes makes it fun so I've got a wet q wow, I've got a q-tip with a bunch of junk in it but we'll change that wet the end of this q-tip and push it all around like I need it and I just take this uh, when I get it like where I want it because you know they'll continue to move until you get the water off of them I take this paper towel here and just kind of Press up against it without moving it to soak some of the water up so it will kind of stick and then continue to oh geez continue to try to like work the wrinkles out of it with my wet q-tip so yeah this is a uh, it's fun um, be nice to have like three or four sets so when you mess up, you have something else to to go to, and I don't only have the you know the single set, so that's okay. Just have to be more careful, and we'll see. Cause I'm going to clear over these, and I'm I'm really anxious to see what it looks like to clear over these decals. So I got the eleven, eleven Tomica. Four valve, four valve turbo, Tomica on the doors. Um, 
and many, many more to go here. So those are the rest that I have to do. So these these are probably going to pose a little problem because it should have been these red ones would have been on the black, the two tone black, but this thing is not two tone. So we'll see what it looks like. All right, just want to give you an update. Stand by. All right, next day I after work have finally got the decals all placed on it except for those the 11s that were supposed to be right there i failed miserably and what i noticed is they didn't send me enough 11s anyway so i'm assuming that the uh passenger side also or this is actually the passenger side but the opposite side would have an 11 so you have an 11 on the hood you have an 11 on the roof you have an 11 here and so that would have been four and i only had three 11 so maybe it only had three anyway it's only got two um because i put the one on the hood like it's supposed to be um everything else is on it um there is i ain't cleared it or anything yet actually some of them are still wet um i think it turned out great i'm i'm excited because really one of my first decal jobs and these aren't like big decals these are small sponsor decals and things like that also in the interior tub there were two that go right there but i you know, like i say i'm i'm excited i think um I think it's going to look good i can't wait to maybe tomorrow um once this body i also went ahead and did some black washing so that i can clear over that black washing but um i want to wanted to uh show you guys what they look like they're all on there the only thing let's see that i ruined was the one number 11 that went right there but in place of that so if you'll notice here there's a gold decal Rather than putting them behind Tomica, I placed them where the 11 would have been. Um, so they're both, both sides has that decal right there. And I think it's going to look great. I can't wait again. So once these all cure, I'll give them till tomorrow. Um, I will give the body, I'll wipe the body down because I've noticed that the um, decal solve or the mark fit uh, does leave somewhat of a residue. And I don't want to clear over that. So I will uh, give the body a nice wipe down, maybe with some alcohol or something. Something that I don't want to ruin my decal or my, yeah, my decals. So I'll wipe it down, um, shoot it with clear, and we will definitely see what it looks like. But I'm going to end this video here. It's went way too long because of me placing the, trying to do decals and stuff like that. So I'm excited. I think this is going to be a cool looking car when I'm done with it. There's the interior kind of, so you can see what it's going to look like with the, metal style interior roll cage and all will be in it also i'm contemplating um maybe painting this see this silver area here i think it would look good but i'm not sure of my confidence in doing that so i might tape it off and see what it looks like before i clear it but i don't know uh, this video is coming to an end though so guys thank you so much for watching this video and following along um let me know in the comments um what i so i want constructive criticism like what did i do wrong did i do anything wrong with the decals um because i'm new at this i need help and it's obvious if you watch this video you can tell that i need i need help with it but um i do appreciate you guys watching uh leave a comment um if you have not subscribed already please go down there and hit that subscription button it helped me out tremendously like the video go and hit the thumbs up i appreciate that as well it will tremendously help me out um yeah but go check out hobby nut models uh facebook group teespring store or the spring store i always say teespring it's it's just spring now grab yourself a t-shirt a model car videos t-shirt or something like that um it would thrill me to see someone at a a uh model show with one of my t-shirts on it would be an absolute i i i wouldn't know what to think but anyway, thank you guys who support me in that way. Coffee cups, stickers, t-shirts, and things such as that. And uh, as fall's starting to approach, got hoodies. Go check your, go check out my uh, Teespring store and uh, pick yourself up something there. And uh, Patreon members, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I need to start rolling those at the end like Lucas E. does. I think that would uh, mean a lot to you guys who do support me via Patreon. And if you're not a Patreon member, I, I encourage you to go check that out. All those things that I just mentioned are listed in the description of this video. So go check them all out. 
And uh, hey, I'm done with this video, guys. So you take care, and we will see you all on the next one. So take care.